Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Well, Scar here, bringing you another super awesome Scar Goes Hardcore episode. And in today's episode, we are going to be doing some mining. So, we're just going to take a quick look here at our supplies that we're going to be taking down into our mining shaft. So, we've got our water buckets for water extinguishing. We've got our food. So, some of the stuff we'll actually put in our crates once we get down there. Some of the stuff we won't need in the actual mining process. And we've got our stairs and some extra cobblestone for tools. And we've got our wood. So I like to keep it in the uh, natural form, if you will. So it saves less space. So, you know, I, I'll be making crafting tables and sticks and things like that. But to save room in your inventory so you have more room for cobble and all sorts of stuff you'll, you'll be getting down there, I like to keep the wood in its natural form. And we've got our armor on. So... Let's proceed to our mining shaft. But before we do that, one other thing before we head off is to take a look at our dogs. Now, I always forget to do this, but here's their names. There's Nanook, and this name is the one I picked out of all the comments you guys left. Scarf. It was so funny. It just made me laugh, you know, scar, scarf, lols. Yeah, so I thought it was pretty funny, and uh, all right, guys. It's going to be a dangerous adventure we're going to go on to, to deep into the scar mines. So I hope I see you guys again. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So let's head into our mine. So and you know, in our last episode, we, we started work on our basement. So this is our basement here. Soon we'll have rooms here and here and there. But for now, we will be doing some mining. So and last uh episode i believe um some people are talking about adding some water and things like that in case i were to fall off here but these little steps that i made like there that keeps me from falling so i can't actually fall down the shaft because I'll, I'll fall and land on one of these instead of falling to my death i have many many experiences of falling to my death so i have a few uh, precautions built in Okay, so we're down at the bedrock, so let's add some of this to our crate down here. We'll just add some of the stuff we won't need. We'll take a little bit of wood, because we may need it. We'll need this for our fire extinguishing, because most likely we'll catch ourselves on fire at least once. And let's see, let's see, we'll, we'll add that. Let's, oops, what am I doing? There we go. I'll leave some torches in this box. Um, this here, good, good. Okay, and then we have an iron pickaxe, but we will be using that primarily. We'll be only using that for when we encounter the gold and the diamonds, so we'll save that because we're very low on iron. All right, I think that's good. So let's prepare. So we're going to start out at level, I believe it's 12. Let me just get a quick check here. Let's see here. Yeah, so I believe it's level 12. So let's jump up here. Now level tw wait, which which is level twelve actually? Well, although those is cut in here, it doesn't really matter as long as we're close. But level twelve is an area where you're going to be just above most of the lava pools, and it's the most uh, efficient level for mining. You'll find the diamonds and everything is the most prevalent at this level. So let's just make a nice little entrance way here. We'll just cut in here a little bit, and then we will proceed into uh, mining. So, all right, there we go. We're already getting some good stuff here. Now, one thing uh, you guys keep asking about is how... Oh, nice. Getting some good stuff over here. How I got to almost 200 uh, experience. When they renovated the enchanting in one of the recent snapshots, if you were to smelt anything... Nice. Look at all this. Let's let's get this. So if you were to smelt something like a stack of 64 smooth stone like I did a bunch, it was giving you, I, I can't remember, like 10 experience points. And I was doing a ton of that. Per oh my gosh, this is great. We haven't even gotten into our tutorial on mining yet and we're already getting some good stuff. But um, you got a ton of experience for smelting. And uh, I did a bit of cave exploring and got quite a bit of coal which gave a good amount of experience also oh this is very nice now one thing i also forgot to mention was that i brought oops let's get rid of that that's annoying I apologize for leaving that on um i brought some 
of this dirt so we could cover up our tracks. So we have a nice playing field. So let's just make this just a little bit wider. So that's how I got to that level so fast. But they have since changed the way it works and you get much, much less experience for doing those things. Okay, so I'm not super scientific. I like to have fun, just kind of burrow into the walls and see what happens. But there's a little bit of a little bit of science in my madness. So I just like to make a giant um, hole like this and just keep going along. Um, let's see. So I'll count it out. One, two, three, four, five. So just keep going like this. So let's go like that. And then once it gets to about pitch dark, then I put down a torch to try to avoid wasting too many torches. And, you know, I, I always do it a little bit different, but sometimes I'll go too wide so I don't lose anything. So that's kind of what we're going to do in this one. There's other versions of branch mining like this where you can do four or three blocks and then you do another shaft like we just did right there. But this is what I'm going to do in this one. I'm just going to do a two across because the primary need for what I'm going to get here is cobblestone. Cobblestone is the building blocks that I want and you know, diamond, coal, all that stuff's great and all, but cobblestone's what I need to build stuff. Sweet. So that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to make some some branches going in and then we'll cut in and do some stuff like that. So we'll just go across here like this. You know, there's millions of different ways to mine and there's not really any one that's better really than the other. This is the way I prefer. I'm sure everybody has a different way they, they prefer to do it. So let's just finish that up there like so. All right, so it's just going to. And just keep on going like this. This is how I do it. And then, I'll, you know, like I said, I'll make some intersecting lines in the center. So let's just come in here, light that up a little bit. And like I said, make sure you guys have your uh, bucket of water. That's probably your most important thing to have because of uh, catching yourself on fire is a problem coming down here. So let's grab some of this. Good stuff. All right, we're already getting some good iron. Iron is awesome. All right, there we go. So let's switch back into our stone pickaxe. Some diamond would be very nice. So let's just keep going. So I just want to create kind of a base for what we're going to do. So I'm just going to go across here real quick. Now a few other things about mining. Now this is, I'm not like super good technically with this. So, but the best tip I can give you guys for more efficient mining and crafting and such would be if your monitor real estate allows having uh, your YouTube window open or something like that and just mining and watching some YouTube videos. So you get two things done at once. That's what I like to do. And let's see, let's just go a little bit farther. So what I like to do is either have a, a movie on or some YouTube videos. I watch a lot of uh, tutorial videos on photography and art and things, and those tend to last pretty long. So it's great to have those next to my Minecraft window and I just mine and I watch the video and there, what, 40 minutes goes by that the video's over. I learned a good deal about the subject I was interested in and I received quite a bit of resources for my next super awesome Minecraft project. So that's my best tip is to either be watching a movie or a television show and enjoy uh, your mining. So mining just goes by really quick when you do that. So that's my best tip I can give you guys. Okay, there we go. So let's see here, let's see here. So that's kind of how we do it. Two blocks and then I know there's there's a high, there's not much of it, there's no way I'm missing anything pretty much. And then you know we'll do a, a layer below and a layer above. All right, so let's just do another layer here. But you know the real fun, the real fun of it is to find a cave. That's the fun. Dangerous, of course. Many obstacles in your way. But it's definitely the more fun way to do it. All right, there we go. So eventually we need to make our intersecting lines through here. And that also helps to avoid using so many torches. 
to um, to cut lines through here and just have a torch kind of every one or so. That helps with uh, not using too many torches. All right, let's grab some of this. Nice, getting lots of good resources already. Lots of good resources. All right, and you know there's there's also a fun other way of mining is a quarry mine where you just make a square and you just slowly go down. It's kind of fun if you're bored and you're tired of this way and you just want to do something unique, fun. It's not the most efficient, but it's it's kind of fun. Then you have this strange hole in your world. All right, so let's continue here. Go another two this way. All right, there we go. Let's finish up this one, and then we'll recap on how we've done. Take a look at our bounty. All right, let's go through here just a little bit further. There we go. Sweet. And so we need to definitely get some obsidian because I want to make another castle. There we go. So now we, we've really got our, uh, our base kind of going along. So I'm thinking about jumping into super fast mining mode. All right, there we go, finished up a little bit. Now the next thing we should do is to make a safety box. You know, just in case you are ready to, you know, you find a cave or something like that that you want to explore, but you don't want to lose any of your precious things you've collected. So it's good to always have a box of, oops, and do we have enough? Yeah, always good to have a box that you can drop your stuff in just in case things go awry. So let's see here, let's see, let's see. We put that there, and let's just knock out the ceiling up here a little bit, there we go. So we could just drop our gold and redstone and stuff like that in here in case you were to find a cave or something you wanted to explore but not move in your precious resources. So let's just make another pickaxe real quick. There we go. Let's make a couple more of those. There we go. All right, there we go. Now, like I said, you know, the coal and this, all the different uh, materials we're getting is all good and all, but the cobblestone is what I'm really after. That's why I do prefer the two mine shaft. You know, you're, you're making sure you're going to get all the good stuff, like diamonds that we still haven't found, by the way, and all, but... The cobblestone is the most important, in my opinion, because that's what I build with. Not using mods or anything, this is the really the only material in great quantity that you can use. All right, so let's grab some of this. Mm, nice, yeah. And then, like I said, use some of your dirt, you know, to cover that back up, making sure your mind shit and your mind looks nice. There we go. So let's pop back out here. And then just continuing along like so. Let's make that shaft a little bit wider. There we go. So let's see. One, two, there we go. And then the through we go into the void. It would be nice to break through into a cave and do a little cave exploring, but I guess that will have to come at another time, another time. There we go. Ooh, hello, hello. Nice, make some blue walls. Why, thank you. Actually, you know, I just realized we're actually on level 13. So, we're not quite on level 12, but I figure you're close enough. Close enough. It's probably actually a little safer. We are one above most of the lava. 
You will encounter lava, but not in great quantities. Let's see. Actually, you encounter more water once you're in this area. So let's just finish up this last side. I really hope to find some diamond. My last mining tutorial I did almost, actually, it has been a, it's been a year. Yep, it's been a year. I broke through and got diamond within 30 seconds. This time, not, not so fortunate. We'll grab that redstone on the way back. But we'll take all these mines, all these little uh, intersections we're building into the end of the rock. We'll take all these deep into the earth and things like that later. Whoops, forgot to use the faster method. There we go. But at least we have some more supplies that we can do some more cool things with. I really needed some redstone and things like that. So now we can do some pretty cool stuff. Ooh, got a nice little pocket right here. Let's light this up. Yeah, why thank you. All right, there we go. Let's grab all of this. Then we will do a quick recap on our progress. Man, we, we got a jackpot right here. Nice. There we go. So let's finish up on this side. Then we'll always fill in this area. It's good to always fill it in because once you do a mine shaft oops, below, so if I so if I were to have this and there would be an opening and it's just good to cover up all your holes you make in your pathways. There we go. Let's grab all that. Whoop, whoop. Little glitch there. Oh, more, more, thank you, why thank you. I'll take that. Okay, so let's cover some of this up. So once we go in another area, we can see that I like to cover that up so we have a nice clean pathway. Just finish up this area just a little bit more. Grab that, there we go. Yeah, it's a shame you don't get as many uh, experience points for getting or and things like that anymore. Let's drop a torch and head back. All right, let's take an inventory here. Let's grab our stuff. Nice, all right, let's head back up. So we have our little shafts going down this way, and that way. So we'll just continue to work on this in the future. And yeah, so that's my little mining tutorial for you guys. Definitely let me know what your guys' preferred method is things like that. I'm sure you guys have a, your own partial to a certain way or another. So let me know in the comments section or help somebody out if they have any questions. I'll try to do the same. And yeah, so we're heading back up. All right, there we go, back up. And that was probably one of the easiest mining experience I've ever had. We didn't encounter a single mob. I never got caught, caught on fire. I almost feel like I'm jipping you guys. Okay, there we go. Let's just drop our resources into here. We'll smelt this stuff in a little later. So let's just add this stuff in here like so. Just kind of stacking it around. Still no diamond, of course, kind of a disappointment, but We'll definitely get it in the future. There's my stone. So let's drop my stone in here. Put my gravel in there. See, this is where I got a lot of my experiences when I smelted all this stuff for the work we've done in the basement so far. And we'll keep our keep that in our inventory and we'll keep the ladders, keep the dirt, and keep our stake, of course. And yeah, well guys, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe this video deserved a rating of some sort, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter.